Hello everyone and welcome at Matt's Workshop. In today's video we are going to have a look at the Tree Wing Fighter from Blue Moon. It's also named the Thai Defender, it's in 148 scale and it has been mastered by, by Alfred Wong. So let's have a look to the kit. First the instructions. We have well details instruction showing all of the parts, some assembly notes, including information about paint, about resin parts. We can see that the step-by-step -step is explained in the photo and that it's really a short step-by-step. The most of the pictures are about the cockpit assembly. So let's have a look at the parts. We have three bags. Bag with the cockpit balls. It's casted in white resin. So you have here the cockpit bowl. As you can see, this is going to be a medium size kit. Pretty interesting size. I already own a Thai Phantom at this scale and it would be nice to have them side by side. And here we have some wings parts. Here you can see the details. The parts are nicely casted, perhaps a little warp, which, uh, which will have to be corrected using heat. But not all of the parts are like this. If you look at this one, it's pretty straight. So, Put them like this. In the second bag, we also have the. Have, how do they call it? In this assembly. The wing strut. So, in here, you have a wing strut which is holding the wings. The cockpit ball will be here, and in here you have the engines. I will have to wash it, it's a little bit of, well, like all resin kits. As you can see, there are nice details. It's little lines here, which will have to be removed, but nothing that bad. In that bag we also have the clear parts, so we have two clear resin parts for the cockpit, the front one and the upper one. And let's have a look to the last bag. We have casting remains here. make the assembly of the wings you have this part here as you can see there are a lot of details underneath the part which is going to be fun to paint and this part goes here and you have the wings coming how are we coming this way of course, it will be needed to pin them together. Here we have... This is not the same. This is the same one. And here is the last one, of course. Okay. So, here we go. 
Oh, this one is warped also. So you have two different types of wings. As you can see with those details here, which are not sy symmetrical from one side to one other. And you have here the position where the holding of the wheels of the wings comes. Not this way, this way. Okay, so wings, two other ones, ooh, which has some are really straight and some other ones have a lot of warp. The three parts which hold the wings. And what is in the bag, which remains, they are the cockpit parts. So you have here a pilot, which is not quite accurate, but not that bad. We have the seat, perhaps, perhaps there is something missing here, I will have to check. We have the inner parts of the cockpit, I don't know for the TIE Fighter from EMT, but this is really close to the to the design of the, tie, of the inside of the TIE Fighter. Ah. Little parts here. I have to check where they go. And you have here six parts, which I think are guns. I don't know if I'm going to use them. Perhaps I will replace them with brass tubes. They are straight, but well, not all of them. But that's not that bad. So that's all for this kit. Oh. We have here one engine, only one. Mm, here is the second one. Two engine. Uh, no, those are not engines. Sorry. Some parts here which goes on the bow co cockpit. So that's all for this kit. Thanks for watching this video I think that uh, this is a great kit a great size and uh, it would be a pleasure to build it when I when I do it I'm really happy to have it so uh, thanks for watching thanks for following me don't hesitate to like the video if you liked it and uh, see you next time for a new video bye see you so to conclude this review, I will say that this is a great kit, a great size. I'm really happy to have it. I think it will be a pleasure to build. The bad point is the warp on the wings, but except that point, everything else is really great. So it will be, it will be nice to build. So see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for to those who are following me. Don't hesitate to like the video and to follow me on Facebook or YouTube as you wish. If you want, of course. See you next time for a new review. Bye.